I don't know, you could learn a thing or two from him. You showing me up in front of my mom now, Robo? You killed my mother. Get out. Do not show your face here again. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. <sighs> God damn it. Are we back in 65 million BC again? Mara. Why did the prophet let us go? They take Lavos power. Lavos get weak. Wait a minute. The design from the door that the pendant opened. I've seen it in other places. Yeah, yeah. That's where I was thinking about anyways. Is that Melchior in there? Morrow. Let's check it out, Chrono. Okay, so we're supposed to go back to the distant uh, future, right? But now I'm trying to like remember all the places that I'd seen the, the symbols before. We can probably open the chests now too, right? Yeah, let's go to Guardia Forest because I'm pretty sure there was a chest. Yeah, there's one right there. So we'll see if we can open these now. I obtained a power ring, okay. You know, we haven't had Luca in our party in a while. Yeah, let's get this gang back together again. Let's just try this team out for a little bit and we'll see how it goes. That used to be a statue of Magus, didn't it? Oh, great Ozzy, Ozzy the Great. Yours is the hand that guides us to our fate. Yeah, so that definitely changed. I'm pretty sure that was a, that was a statue of Magus before. Anything different up here? Oh, the pendant is doing something. Robo. What is that glow? seal is broken. I will give to you a treasure crafted by the guru of reason himself. To your right is a weapon which will enhance your strength. To your left is protective gear which will guard your life. Let's take the protective gear. I feel like choosing the weapon is the, is the obvious thing. Obtained guardian helm. Oh, there's another one of these here. Barrier ring. Hmm? There is something else in here. What in the world? Obtained a speed ring. Alright. Anything new going on in Luca's house now? Oh, perfect timing. Taven's helm. Okay. Another great invention just completed. The ultimate in defense for my beautiful daughter. Any weird chests in here? There was, right? Yeah, there's one up here. Blue vest absorbs 50% of water damage. Okay. All right, let's head to my house, see what's going on now. Hello, Mom. Luca, you haven't been coming by as much lately. <laughs> I've been busy with my research. Well, don't push yourself too hard and say hello to your parents for me, won't you? Goodness, is this one of Luca's inventions? Greetings, Madam. I am Robo. Chrono is my friend. Aw, yeah, we're friends, buddy. My, how polite you are. A bit strange looking, but well enough behaved. Chrono, you could learn a thing or two from him. Okay. You showing me up in front of my mom now, Robo? Well, what happens if we come up to the castle now? It's been a while since we were here. Soldier. It's the terrorists! This is not good. Well, what if we... Let's put Morrow in our party and see what happens. Voice. Princess Nadia, you had me worried, princess. I understand your feelings, of course. The king places his realm above all else. It was the same even when your mother, Queen Eliza, passed away. What? Oh, child. Please, forget I spoke. 
Tell me, it's difficult to speak of even now. You see, Queen Oliza's condition had been frail for some time, but it took a sudden turn for the worse near the end. She desperately wanted to see your father just one last time. But your father refused, said he could not leave his work unattended. He left you, young, innocent, and knowing nothing of death, to watch over her alone. Naturally, the end was not long in the coming. She died soon after. One might well say the king killed her. Such a shame. Father killed her? Please, I speak too much. Do not let it trouble you, your highness. Now that you finally returned, won't you go and see the king? Huh, so now we can actually get in here. I'm Pierre, royal legal counsel. The king has been terribly distraught since the princess ran off. It took some time, but I was able to convince him that no kidnapping took place. The chancellor, on the other hand, he has been acting quite strangely. We were just discussing that now. The chancellor hired all of the guards who manned the prison towers. The chancellor may have been purposefully trying to influence his grace's judgment in the courtroom. Those prison guards were an odd bunch. Even we would get cold stares from time to time. And those eyes, it's like they weren't even human. Hmm. It was right around the time he ordered that dragon tank to be built. That was when the chancellor started acting differently. <laughs> okay, that's funny. So something weird is going on with the chancellor in this time. What have you come here for? I thought you had no more use for this place. Don't look at me like that. You're the one who stormed out of here and letting these hoodlums in here. Are you planning to cause some sort of trouble? Hey, what are you calling a hoodlum, dude? How can you say things like that? These are my friends. Friends? You're a daughter of the line of Guardia. Consorting with their like is a disgrace to their to this family's name. It's true, then. You really do care more about the kingdom than you ever cared about me or mother. What? You... You killed my mother. Get out! Do not show your face here again. Don't worry, I won't. Hmm, so the Chancellor is up to some Machiavellian shit here. He's trying to pit Marl against the king. Do as you please. You are not my daughter. Oh shit, she just got disowned. If we're not his daughter, does that mean that the Chancellor is somehow next in the line of succession or something? And this is what he's plotting. All right, let's go see what happens when we try to talk to the king. Ah, uh, here's one of the fancy chests. Obtained a red vest. So is that like the blue vest, but for fire? His grace is deeply troubled by Princess Nadia. It's hard for the king to seek advice about family matters. After the death of Queen Eliza, Princess Nadia became his grace's entire world. What have you come here for? You have no business in this place. Hmm. I wonder if Marl wasn't with us, would he be willing to talk about stuff? I have nothing to say to you either. Get out! Okay, so it did change the dialogue, but it didn't, it's not making anything happen. All right, let's switch back to this party for now. Chancellor. Why not give his grace a gift to soothe his mood? He seems to have a taste for spiced jerky lately. Huh, where was it that had the spiced jerky? Was it a shop down here? Yeah, this guy here. 9,900 gold. Yeah, let's do it. While we're down here, I'm pretty sure the mayor's house or down here is the one that had the, uh, the chests. It had like a couple of chests up in the bedroom. Yeah. black vest and a white vest all right let's go give the spiced jerky to the king see what he says I'm very suspicious of the uh the chancellor's motives here though are we gonna accidentally poison the king what have you come here for you have no business in this place What's that? Your... your favorite... You brought this for me? Let's see... What? What is it, your grace? How could you? 
giving me something this spicy when you know quite well I have high blood pressure? What? But it's your favorite. Now I truly know how much you hate me. Father, no, I- Leave now and never show your face here again. Father. Can we even go in now? Do we get kicked out? It's firmly sealed. Okay. Hmm. Oh, there was a chest in there I didn't open. Shit. Is that all I can do with this little storyline right now then? Seems kind of stuck. So there's something weird going on with the Chancellor. He's intentionally trying to kind of get the king to disown Marl. But I don't really know what else I can do at this point. I'm going to run around and talk to everyone in the castle again real quick. Well, I kind of think there's not much else we can do here right now, right? I really just came here to try to open some chests anyways, and then just kind of stumbled upon this little storyline. It must be just part of a bigger side quest or something that I can't do all of right now. Um, all right, so let's go through this thing to 600 AD, and there will be some more chests and stuff there, right? Ah, here's another one. The item inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the item. Yes. Obtained a blue vest. Didn't we already have one? We just have two blue vests now? Someone here again. In this world, there are no rains that fail to lift. No nights that are not dispelled by dawn. What's important is to trust in those you love and never to abandon hope. That person you cherish is no doubt watching over you from some distant place. Everything back here? Oh, there's a chest back here, okay. A speed capsule, cool. And what's up here in the castle in this time? Commander, our victory is owed to you. Master of kitchens, you served us victory, but I cooked the meal. And speaking of cooking, I have a mind to prepare a victory feast. Something truly spectacular to celebrate the Fiend Lord's defeat. What? You want some of my spiced jerky? I'm out of the ingredients right now, unfortunately. Mine's a tad spicy for most people anyhow. Lean. I don't know what words of gratitude could possibly suffice for all you've done. Frog. Where is Frog? Oh yeah, okay, so let's get Frog in here. Frog. So, you aided Chrono and the others. You've done a fine service for this kingdom. Please remain here for as long as you wish. We would be honored by your presence. Frog. Your kind words are reward enough, your majesty. My heart is glad to hear them. You're alive. We sustained heavy casualties, but thanks to you, our battle is won. Now we must all work together to rebuild. If there is ever any way this kingdom might repay its debt to you, I shall see it done. Frog, I offer my thanks to you again. The valor of your deeds is worthy of the name of Knight. Your Majesty, please do not waste such words of honor on me. Oh, Frog, you deserve congratulations. Chancellor, I'll see that generations to come know the name of Chrono. Ah, oh, here's another chest. The item inside is reacting to the pendant. Remove the item. A red vest. Okay. Should I not be removing the ones that say that? I wonder. Because both times it said that, I ended up getting a duplicate. All right. So we've talked to everyone in the castle now, right? Let's head out. Okay. We just traded the old man, that Naga bromide that we found in the cathedral. And we got a magic capsule, okay. Don't tell granny, hehe. <laughs> My very own sweet Naga pet. I wonder how that will affect the future. Yay, the hero beat all the evil monsters. I heard that the hero was Sir Cyrus's friend. Ah, uh, he must be a truly handsome knight. That magus survived and is in hiding now, so I hear. We cannot let that fiend escape. Think of all the soldiers who fell. What's going on down here now, I wonder? Oh, there's something. Hmm. I'm going to save before I touch that. But I'm going to check the uh, Fiona's Villa. 
My husband Marco is finally home from the war. Oh, I'm so relieved. Worry not, my love. We won't be parted again. The monsters in the desert cave fear water. They seem vulnerable to it, but the greatest of them, water or no, I could not hope to slay that beast on my own. Hmm. Is this like a little side dungeon or something? Well, we've got the two water people with us. The sunken desert. Huh. Okay. Should I be here? Water hardened sand defense reduced. Okay. Ow. That was a lot of damage. Obtained an Aeonian suit. Okay. Damn. That is a lot of defense. I want to give these two both red vests, because I feel like if anything, we're going to find um, fire elemental attacks here. Why does the ground tremble? Oh, shit. That does not look good. So... That's the monster that killed all the trees. We must fight a foe that moves beneath the earth. This will be no easy task. A muscle ring. Oh, it's this fellow again. What the hell? Okay, so the ice attacks are reducing its defense. I'm just gonna keep cleaving on the core. Oh, the core is dead now. Oh, there goes Chrono. And that's probably gonna, yeah, okay. Well, that was a disaster. Okay, let's try that again. All right, let's try this again. Third time's a charm. So maybe we shouldn't take out the um, the core. You destroy the core, it says running wild without core, and then it starts doing a lot more damage. Dormammu, I've come to bargain. <sighs> God damn it. Okay, I don't understand what I'm supposed to be doing here. I've tried a few times. It's just like, eventually I can't keep up with the damage it's doing anymore. Um, I can't heal the core, can I? I can't heal the core, can I? I can't heal the core, can I? I heal the core, can I? Heal the core, heal the core, heal the core. Okay, so I can heal the core with lightning. So maybe I can keep... Maybe I can keep the core alive by hitting it with lightning and I'll be able to destroy one of the other parts without it going into the phase where it does a shit ton of damage. Yeah, I think this is, this is probably what I was supposed to be doing. This makes, me, this makes way more sense here. All right, so we're making progress. We got rid of the top part. Okay, so now we're just going crazy on this thing, right? What? It escaped? It is done. Let us tell Fiona. It fucking escaped? No, 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 no. What the hell? All right, well, let's go. I guess that was a victory. All right, well, let's go tell her. All right, that'll do it for this episode. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed, please consider leaving a like. I'd really appreciate it. You can also subscribe to keep up with the series and leave a comment to let me know how I'm doing. The next episode should be out soon. I'll see you then.